on the tapes, I can't go into very advanced techniques. So I'm just, you know, the basic wrist lock when someone grabs you, and you grab here, and you point your hand, and you wrist lock, you know, okay? I'm going to demonstrate a, a way to get out of that. I'm grabbing Jesse. Now, first I want to explain to you, you know, a lot of people in, in practice, like, the guy grabs you like this, and I punch him, or I go, boom, boom, when I punch him. A grappler is not going to grab you like this. If I grab Jesse's wrist as a grappler, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to go, you know, so the idea of, of Jesse grabbing my wrist and I going like that, well, that's good against the lay person, okay, or a non-grappler. But against a grappler is not going to go, I got gotcha, you, okay. I'll grab your hands up here. I'm going to go, okay. He's going to grab and feed. Okay, he's not going to just grab here. Okay, do a wrist lock, please. And go wrist lock, okay. He's going to go, he's grabbing to do something. He's not going to grab like this, okay. So you can go, boom, okay. He's not doing that. He's grabbing like this. Whether I grab here, he's grabbing and moving, okay. He's grabbing and moving or grabbing and moving, okay. So it's very hard to put a wrist lock on a, on a wrestler or a judoist or a sambist. Um, wrestler. Okay, but I want to show you if someone does grab you in a wrist lock. I grab Jesse, he goes for a wrist lock. One of the wrist locks is to put your hand here and to turn this way. Okay? This way. Do you see the hand? Okay. As the person's going for the wrist lock, do the wrist lock, please. Okay, as the person's doing the wrist lock, you're going to slide this hand up this way. Simple slide. Here. Then this foot's going to go here. Watch what happens. Yeah. You okay? Yes. Again, <coughs> um, a good judoist, samboist, wrestler, you're not going to put a wrist lock on, okay? But as a beginner, let's say someone does get you, or you get, you're just climbing around and someone grabs you, and you are going for a wrist lock. As he goes for a wrist lock, that's a standing wrist lock. Ground wrist locks work more effectively. See how this hand slides? He's going to put this way. He's hooking here this way to get my wrist lock. As he's doing that, this hand just slides. Real simple. I'm just going to slide here, like a shoot, you know, a chop, okay? So he's here, I'm just sliding, boom. Okay, grab, see I'm grabbing the thumb? This foot is going here. I'm facing him. I want to go this back foot here. As I'm going here, my elbows come down. And again, this hand fish hooks this way, this hand fish hooks this way, and this hand fish hooks this way. Little fish hook. At the same time we're fish hooking, we're doing this. So it's See the motion? Little fish hook, little fish hook, step behind. Little, see the little motion like this? And step behind. So again, I grab, and let's say you don't want to fight with the guy. That you, the guy he wants, you know, is, is fight, he's trying to fight with your buddy and going, hey, I'll take it easy. And he goes for a wrist lock. Okay? Just shoot this hand. Just chop the hand. One. Step across. As you're stepping across, see how your elbows come up? Fish hook, fish hook, elbows down. Okay? And that is a counter to a basic uh, uh, wrist lock. Okay, I'm in this position, and Jesse goes for a wrist lock. Okay, like I say, Jesse grabs me. He's going to go for this wrist lock here, pushing this way and pushing this way. Okay, are you okay? I'm sorry. Okay, so he goes for a wrist lock. As he's coming here, you try to chop, and you're too late. Okay, what you're going to do is, you're going to push here. Now, he's stronger than I am, but he's also tighter. So we're in a stalemate here. How do I end the stalemate? All you need to do is just barely touch him. Put your, th your big toe right there and push. And look what we got. So, again, it's fast. He's here, he's here. Okay, as you're, you might be going down. As you're going down, push here. As you're going down, you don't have to kick it. I mean, you could be way out here. You don't need much, just to push a little bit off balance. And you have a wrist lock by pushing this way, and you have an elbow lock. Okay? And I'm going to show you how to do a knee lock from there. Because again, Sambo is not one lock. In a real fight, <coughs> I've been in combat. I know a man who got his arm blown off. He cauterized it, and he went for three days. I have a friend of mine who got a bone stick out of his knee, and he kept running in combat. Um, I've, I've, seen, I've seen a friend of mine who got his kneecap broken and he marched all night in combat. So there's some guys out there, you break something, they're still going to fight. Um, 
I've seen some amazing things with people in combat. You'd be amazed. I've seen guys with literally his arm blown off, and he cauterized and kept fighting. A friend of mine, a bone sticking out of his knee, he kept fighting. So sometimes one break is not enough. So I grab him. He goes here. He's in this position. Again, I'm going to push here. He got the advantage. I'm going down. You don't have to kick hard. Just a little bit. Just a little bit with your knee. Pushing that leg back. And look. Here. Boom. Okay. I have this. See? Wrist, elbow. Wrist, elbow. Now, he might still want to fight. Turn in. Heel kick. Heel kick. Look, at what, look what's going to happen now, guys. Back to the leg, leg lock, okay? Again, we'll do it again. <coughs> I'm trying to stress fluidity and, and, and uh, combinations. If I'm fighting Jesse and I break his ribs, he's still going to fight. I need to break the rib, break the jaw. You know, I need to take his knee and take his face. It's the same thing with locks. In, um, in a no holds bar tournament, you don't want to get hurt. You tap out. In combat, you might die. This guy might... You're being nice, he's not being nice. He goes for a wrist lock and he means to do you harm. Again, it's better to push this way than down. Push up. Little bit of a push there, boom, okay? As this, see I'm going this way? Here, boom, okay? Back heel, boom, okay? Just kick, boom, look at the groin, kick. And I'm gonna do this slow so I don't hurt him. Put your head out of the way, please. Straight down. Knee lock. Okay, we'll do it again and we'll do it the variation. I'm doing these slow because the knees are very fragile. Again, please don't learn one lock, think combinations. And remember, he might have two buddies. You don't want the fight to go very long. The wrist lock comes, he's getting you. Hit. You can push with this one and do it, okay, but it really is more effective with this one because if you're pushing here, this one comes back into your base. Here, you're a little bit off balance. So you push. You don't have to hit hard. Just a little bit of push. Boom. Okay. You broke this, and you're damaging the elbow. He still wants to fight. Hit. Come in here. Now, watch what I'm doing. Remember the figure four lock? I showed, I showed, this, I showed this before in the uh, leg lock video. I'm not going to reteach you. You have to get that video, okay? Okay? A Russian, a Russian samboist. In co a combat sambus will not do one break. A combat sambus will, will, hit, will knee you, elbow you, punch you, poke you, headbutt you, break your wrist, break your arm. They're combinations. They're not going to stop. You can break a man's arm, you can still shoot you. You can break a man's leg. They are going to machine gun. One more time. <coughs> Someone's picking a fight with your buddy, or you don't want to be, and you're in this position here, you know, so he can't really elbow you, and you're saying, hey, calm down. He goes for a wrist lock. Okay, you're going to meet his aggression with your aggression. Stop. Boom. You broke this. The guy wants to fight. He might want to punch you in the groin. Okay? Hit. Boom. You can go to a straight lock or a, or a bent knee lock. Please, the bent knee lock, be very careful. This comes here. Send this way, Jesse. Please be very careful with this. This comes here. This comes here. I'm going to do this slow because I want to hurt Jesse. Okay, but you would lock him in air. You're going to land. Okay, so without a partner, you're in this position. You heel, you heel kick him. See what I'm doing? Boom! The knee is blown. You broke his ankle. You damaged his knee. You just blew out. You just blew out his knee. Um, at least you can run away. You're not gonna be able to chase him with a broken knee. Okay, we do it slow. In this position, get down. Okay, I'm gonna do this real slow now. This comes like this, this comes here. And I'm just going to fall. You can fall forward, but I don't want to hurt him. You can do this and just fall forward. Same motion. Blow off the knee. So please start thinking combinations. OK, and that's the next wrist lock escape. There's an arm lock, this basic arm lock here. Okay, someone could be grabbing the back of your gi or something. Okay, and all you're going to do is, or it could be up a punch, it's a little more advanced. You're going to put the bone here like this, and just rotate. And see where I'm at? 
and I can knee him in the face, and I got a nice little armbar. Okay. Again, you know, someone could be grabbing you, or it could be a punch, which you slipped in here, you know, and hit the guy. I'll, I'm not really going to go into this armbar. It's you can show you how to get out of it. And boom. Okay. So Jesse has me in, ar in that armbar. Okay. He's, he's beginning to crank. And I might have reached up here. Boom. Oh, he's giving me an armbar. Now, the f his force is going this way. I don't want to fight his force. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reach up here and grab this wrist, and I'm going to step in front of his foot. So this, you got to watch out for this elbow coming up. Okay. So grab here, cover that elbow, step here. Pull the arm. We'll do it again. Okay, Jesse got to an armbar. It's difficult to get someone in this armbar, so I'm not going to really teach him this tape. So we're here. Grab here. Remember, he's trying to push you like this, okay? So you see how I'm going down? To stop it, a step here. Grab here. Pull. Look at my hand. Rotate. Bring it to you. Okay? I'm not supposed to throw you. Should I do this? Okay. okay. Again, Jesse has you in an armbar. Okay, see how I'm going down? Reach up here. Keep this elbow up to protect that. Step over here. Grab. See how I'm grabbing? Pull. Turn. Bring it to your chest. See the elbow? Okay. Rotate this this way. Bring this down. Palm down. Elbow there, and begin to pound. You right? Okay. Again, you might have grabbed the guy here like a wrestler. You're grabbing here, and boom. Okay. As you, as soon as you see this going, this foot needs to go in front. Okay. Pull. Okay. People, well, he, he can he can't punch you in the groin. Why? Punch. Look. See the knu the knuckles towards you. Put the hand flat. Kneel. Begin to pound. Okay? One more time. <coughs> okay. You might have locked up to the guy here. Okay. He might have thrown a punch and you blocked in. Boom. Okay? So you throw a punch and blocked in and he goes for the armbar. Uh oh. This leg has to go in front. Grab this elbow could be coming. Grab here, step here. Okay, turn. Turn, step back. Okay, grab here, punch. You can just grab here, kick, or you can just grab and mount. You can just go from here <laughs> to here. Let's do it again. In this position, he goes for an arm bar. Step, pull, roll. <laughs> arm bar. Okay, from this arm bar, you can come over here. And slam his face in the mat. Kick through, scissor. Remember, I stress combinations. Again, I went to, he could have thrown a punch, I could have came in here, and he goes for an armbar. Step across, you pull, throw, boom, armbar. Come over here, give him a kick in the face, lift his head up. Slam on the mat, kick, this knee down, this knee up, this knee down, this knee up, this knee down, this knee up. Your intensity matches his intensity. He could have thrown a punch, you go boom. Hey, I want to fight you. He goes for an armbar. Or he could have tried to suck you into an armbar. Okay, you come in here, boom. <laughs> he still fight, you break. He still wants to fight you, smack him in the face, slam him on the mat, kick through his face, break his uh, elbow. So instead of bending this way, it's going to bend that way. In this position, see my hand? Just a little bit of a hip pulse. And if there's still aggravation, we, we could intensify it. You can't do one break and stop. You have to keep going. You have to meet his hostility with equal hostility. That's the next counter. Okay, you know this arm bar here. What I'm going to do is, against someone 
who doesn't have it totally in or who's getting it in, how to, how to get out of it. Excuse me, Jesse. The important thing is what's called a, a hip height movement. And what we're going to do is this leg goes between this leg. In grappling, very rarely do you have one leg over under. It's one leg under. On this one shouldn't go over. You move a leg under another leg, not over another leg. This is crossing the legs. This is a hip height. So the gentleman has my arm here, your opponent. You're going to hip heist. Hip heist. And what I'm doing is I'm going to pretend I'm going to kick someone. Jesse, put your hand here, please. I'm going to try to kick Jesse's hand. Okay? Um, actually, it'd be about right about there. I'm going to try to kick his hand. So my power is going to come from my hips, not my upper body, because if it comes from my upper body, um, he, if he's stronger, he'll win. Okay? So Jesse's on top of me. And let's do it uh, so this way, please. I'm sorry? Put a face for this. Okay, and remember this arm bar that we taught you to spin? Okay. So, so I'm, I, I wouldn't push off, but I'm doing this. And if he's an inexperienced grapple, I could suck him into this. As he pushes off, push off, and does the spin, I'm going to kick this leg and hip heist into him. And what's also happening, remember, for the arm bar to be effective, his groin has to be beneath my shoulder. His groin is here. When I hip heist, suddenly his groin is where my elbow is. I have a fighting chance now. Okay? So Jesse's going to do it again from this angle, please. So it's the lower body. Okay. He's in this position. He goes into the arm bar, do it slow. He's coming. As he's doing, he's doing slow. I'm hip heisting. Boom. In here. Okay? Now, see his buttocks. His buttocks is right here, not here. I got, if his buttocks is here, I'm in trouble. By hip heisting, I'm now here. Okay, I'm going to push, grab my arm, please. I'm, I'm going to push. I'm going to grab here, and I'm going to push down towards his groin. So, over here, please. I hip heisted. We wound up here. Okay, I'm going to grab here and push towards his groin. Okay? Again, let's try it from this angle this time. All right. Um, oh, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. You're going to go this way, right? Yes. Okay. So in this position, I go to push. He rotates. I hip heist. Come up. Okay. Push down towards his groin. Okay? And from here, knee here, ankle lock. Okay? Let's try it again. That's just one. I mean, you might not be able to get an ankle lock. You might have to get something else. But we'll try it again. Um, try it this time this way. Okay. I push. He goes for it. I hip heist. Boom. Okay, we're in this position. I need to push down. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to shove my knee right in his butt. Push. This is going to come back to grab the ankle. This is going to come over his hip, ankle lock. OK? OK, do it again. Uh, same thing, please. We're in this position. I push. He starts to rotate. I hit pipe into him. Okay. I put my knee in his butt. This time, I can't get I can't get his ankle. He's pushing too hard. Stuck my head. Slide through this way. Ankle lock. Ankle lock. You can even hook. So the, remember the hook ankle. We'll do it again from this position. This is a lot harder to do now. Here, I prefer to come here and go for an ankle lock. Let's say I can't get an ankle lock. If you can move your head here and just shove your knee down, ankle lock. Or bring them this way. OK? And that's another counter to an arm lock.
thank you very much for buying and watching this tape. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really love Combat Sambo, and I hope you do too. Please be aware that this is not the ends of all. You need to find other instructors. All grappling systems are effective. My wrestlers can fight. The judoists I work with can fight. The karate people I work with can fight. Buy other videos. Train. Uh, priority, always have safety. Please be very careful. These techniques are really dangerous. Practice them with safety first in mind. And, hap and uh, have an open mind. And also make sure that martial arts not only make you a better fighter, but a better person.